Hey everyone, in this video I wanted to do another uh, weird CCIE lab problem. Um, in this lab, we have two routers connected to each other, so it's a really simple topology. Um, and the task we've been given is that we need to create a neighbor relationship between R1 and R2. The problem is that we cannot log in to R2. We don't have the password, we don't know how to get in there, we don't know who the administrator is, nothing. We have no information on how R2 is configured. That being said, R2 is already completely configured for EIGRP. We just need to create the neighbor relationship. So, what we'll do to solve this problem is log into R1 and let's just, you know, create, um, you know, an EIGRP, we'll choose EIGRP1 just the AS number or whatever. It doesn't really matter um, unless we accidentally guess what the number is, and that would be nice. But we'll network quad zero it. And then let's show IP EIGRP neighbor. And let me actually make that cleaner for you. So there you go. So of course, you know, router EIGRP or router EIGRP one didn't work. So now we have to find out what you know, what the AS number is in order to create this neighbor relationship. And we don't have access to anything else. We don't have Wireshark, nothing. We just need to do it from the command line. So the first thing we'll do is let's do a debug IP packet. And what we're looking for here is just what the IP address is of the other router, which I just, sorry, turned off debugging. Okay, which we found because this here, 10001 is me. So I'm sending traffic to the uh, multicast address for EIGRP. And then we have these packets here, which are coming from 10.0.0.2 with a destination of 224.0.0.10. So that's the other router sending multicast EIGRP packets. However, you'll notice that this doesn't really tell us too much. Um, it just tells us the source and destination. But that's okay, because what we're going to do is... We're going to create an access list. Uh, we'll do 100 and we'll permit EIGRP host 10.0.0.2. So this is why we needed to find their address because we want we want a source from the other router. And then we'll do the destination of 224.0.10. We'll take this access list and we'll do another debug IP packet. But this time we're going to filter for this access list. So let's do a debug IP packet. We're gonna do detail this time. And then here we can reference our access list we just created. And then you could see that it doesn't show me any other options, uh, just the carriage return. I'm gonna use a hidden command, which is dump, because we wanna see the hexadecimal uh, information from this packet. So let's see if I could time it so I could just get one packet. And there's one uh, of the bug mister. Okay, so we got two packets, but that's okay. So the first thing we want to look for in the packet is there's going to be a chunk of hexadecimal here that is E000000A. If you converted this, I'm not going to waste your time with it. If you convert this to decimal, it's a dotted decimal, it would be 224.0010. So this is the destination EIGRP multicast address. From here, we need to go five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five to find this fifth block. And this is the AS number um, that the other router is using. So if we take this and I'll just copy it and quickly, uh, let's go to hex, paste it there. Go convert it to decimal. It's one, two, three, four. So let's prove to see if that worked. Conf T, uh, no router EIGRP one. We'll do router EIGRP one, two, three, four. Network zero, 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 zero. And, and already we see that the neighbor adjacency has already come up. If I do a show IP EIGRP neighbor, we have our neighbor. So, this is, um, you know, maybe it'll help you on your, uh, <laughs> on your CCIE lab exam. I don't know, 
but it is an interesting way to solve this problem. Just remember to find this E and then zeros A and then find the fifth chunk after it or the fifth block and that's the AS number. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you have any comments, questions, leave them below and we'll see you on the next one.